What is going on everybody, ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here, back at it again with another Jailbreak Tweaks of the Week. It's been far too long, but I'm back better than ever. Of course, I'm going to be throwing a link in the description to my wallpaper. Now, quick little disclaimer, some of these tweaks are new, but they were like two weeks ago new. Some tweaks just came out today. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. Now, tweak number one, we have Portrait 11. Now, Portrait 11 is going to enable Portrait Mode on your device. So if you have an iPhone 6S, 7, or even the 8, it's going to allow you to shoot portrait shots. So that is an amazing feature. And if you have an iPhone 10R, it's going to give you the ability to take portrait of items. So if I have some beats here, I could take a portrait shot of any product I like. It doesn't have to just be a person. And as soon as you launch the camera application, this is the tweak right here. So portrait 11, when you tap that button, it is now in portrait mode. So now you can take a picture of anything. Um, this is not going to be a good shot at all. But once you take a, a photo, it's going to say save an image. It's going to process the image. And I got to tell you guys, the developer took so much time developing this tweak. Now this tweak also works on iPad Pro. So as you guys can see, the button is right here. It's overlapping on the preview button, but it works just fine on the iPad. I took some sample shots here. I actually took a picture of myself. I'm gonna show you guys. The background is blurred. My room is a mess, so it's perfect for the pro portrait shots. And I'm not lying to you guys, this tweak works just fine. And my iPad Pro, of course, it has a single lens camera. So if you have an iPhone 10R, this is a no brainer. You need this tweak. Especially if you're a photographer and you just found that you cannot take pictures of like products. You know, you have to take pictures of people in order to portrait mode to work. But with this tweak, take pictures of anything and it's going to work just fine. Next up, we have a tweak called Home Screen App Settings. And all it is, is going to allow you to quickly launch into the app settings in the settings application. So let's say I 3 touch on YouTube. I can quickly get into the YouTube app settings without going into settings and then looking for the YouTube app icon or the YouTube app, you just quickly go into the YouTube settings just like that. So normally you got to search for the app that you want to go and you just, you know, you do your business. But with this tweak, you quickly get into the app settings just like that. Quick CC is going to allow you to change your Wi-Fi settings right there on the fly on the control center. This is available on iOS 13, but for the time being, it's nice to have it on iOS 12. So as you guys can see, all the Wi-Fi connections is displayed right there. And of course, you can quickly get into the settings application or the Wi-Fi settings just like that. So you can work on any application. So let's say you're on YouTube, you're searching up on some videos, and you just realize you want to connect to Wi-Fi, you can quickly do so by the 3D pressing on the Wi-Fi toggle and it's going to search for the Wi-Fi networks. Well, it should. Yeah, there we go. So let's say you want to connect to a different Wi-Fi. You could do so entering your password and you're automatically connected just like that on the fly. So yeah, really cool tweak and the same thing applies with the Bluetooth. Now, this is not a new tweak, but it's been recently updated to support iOS 12 and it is called Size Finder. And all it is, once you put your icons on wiggle mode, you can now see the the app size. So let's say you want to free up some space, but you don't know exactly what's taking up the most space. You guys can see Instagram's taking up 102 megabytes, and it's just the size of the applications. Way more practical than just having the X present on each icon. So size finder, pretty cool tweak. Now next up we have a tweak called Bro Do You Charge and all it is is going to change your battery icon into a circle. So it looks a little bit more minimalistic, it fits well with the notch, it doesn't show your battery percentage but if you pull down you can see your percentage just like that regular. Now when you put your phone on the charger it's a nice little minimalistic icon bolt, lightning bolt I should say. Okay so this is how it looks when you're charging with the tweak enabled so you guys can see the lightning bolt. Oh, I didn't even realize that, bro, do you charge? It also applies on the batteries widget too. That's really cool. And Pays is another awesome 3D touch jailbreak tweak. And all it is, it's just gonna allow you to set the brightness and the volume for each application. So for example, for Safari, I might wanna have the volume down all the way to zero. And the brightness, you probably wanna have it at 50 at all times. So anytime you launch that app, it's gonna set that volume and the brightness so as soon as I launch the app 
you're going to be able to see those changes take effect. Now, as soon as you exit the application, it's going to put it right back to where you had it before. So, yeah, this is really cool. You know, for YouTube, you probably want to have the volume always at 100% and the brightness at a reasonable percent so you can actually watch the video. And let's say, let me just bring down my brightness just to show you guys. So, my YouTube application is set to 100% brightness and 50% volume. So, you guys can see the brightness is already all the way up. So yeah, that is a page. Next up, we have a tweet called Good Morning. And all it is, every single morning when you wake up, it's going to launch up that application as soon as you unlock your device. So for example, you wake up every single morning, you check your Instagram, or maybe you're a content creator on YouTube and you want to check the comments, but you don't want to forget, this tweak is going to help you accomplish that every single morning without skipping a beat. So I'm going to set an example. So let's say I'm going to set this time right now. Let's say I wake up at... 719 and we're gonna have it open up YouTube or Instagram okay so, so 719 is gonna automatically open up Instagram as soon as I unlock my device okay so it's 719 right now that I set it to a.m. or p.m. I think I set it to p.m. all right so this tweak is not working for me but if you guys want to try it out it is free so you guys can try it out I don't know why it's not working for me yeah, my Instagram app is working fine. Hey. Okay. Next up, we have a tweet called Fluid Tabs. And all it is, is going to allow you to swipe through your tabs without pressing it on the bottom. So you guys can see, I can go through the apps just like that. You just got to find some empty space to do so. And you're good. Really cool. And your swipe back still works just fine. So if I go back into the search, you can swipe back from the edge. And that works just fine. So fluid tabs work on any single application that supports a tab. So iTunes is going to work just fine. So yeah, it works just fine on the iTunes store. And maybe even the music application. Yeah, works well on the music application. Make sure you guys support my boy. You know, They Don't Believe. TDB Willie. He has a new track out. I'll throw his um, Apple Music and Spotify link down below. Support my boy, man. You're just an up-and-coming artist. Just trying to make it big, man. Make a change in the world. But yeah. But this tweak works fine on anything, any Apple app. It works perfect. And speaking of the music application, we have a tweak called Spin That Record. So if I open up Spotify, I have to download Spotify just for this tweak. And as you guys can see, it has like a nice little circle. Yeah, and there goes color flow. And like I said, support my boy. Do it for me, man. Do it for me, for real. Do it for me. Okay, it's working now. It's working. The problem was I had color flow. It is not compatible with color flow. So keep that in mind. Spin that record do not work well with color flow four. Spin that record, you should be able to interact with it, but it's just to spice up the Spotify application. I wish that was available on Apple Music. That would have been so much cooler. And by the way, I'd rather color flow than spin that record. That's just my opinion. Now next up we have a tweet called Spectrogram and all it is, it's gonna customize your volume controls, your up and down or even both of them. So if you press the volume up button, it's gonna take a screenshot. So you guys can see, so without pressing the up button and the side button together, you just automatically press and hold the volume up button, to take that screenshot. Volume down, you just press and hold the volume down button to enable the flashlight. So as you guys can see, the flashlight is enabled. Pressing and holding the down button, the flashlight is on. Now if you press both buttons at the same time, it's going to respring my device automatically. So quickly respring your device just like that. So it's kind of like activator. Now you can customize the volume up, the down, the both. You can get to the next track, previous song, play pause, flashlight, respring, save mode, notification center, control center, app switcher, or just assign it to none. It's actually pretty cool to have a screenshot and then the flashlight and then have a respring for both the volume buttons. I like this setup, but for you, you can customize it, knock yourself out. So that is pretty much Spectrogram. And guys, that pretty much concludes this week's tweaks of the week. I'm sorry for the inconsistencies. Now, out of all the tweaks that I mentioned in this video, my favorite tweak has to be Portrait 11, just because the ability to enable portrait mode on all devices, older devices, is pretty amazing. Even on the iPad, guys, the iPad now has portrait thanks to this tweak. Yeah, I cannot make this stuff up. Now, I know the iPad Pro 11-inch has a portrait mode, but only on the front facing, but with this tweak, 
that's all of that stuff is out the window. Portrait mode on all devices is definitely a good thing, especially if you have the iPhone XR to be able to take portrait on anything, on any product other than the person. This tweak is a no brainer. All right, guys, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment. I really do appreciate you guys watching the video all the way through. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at Simply Pops and turn on that notification so you guys can be notified when I upload. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.